Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. Daddy Jesus, we thank you so much for the gift of today. We bless you, we honor you, we adore you. From our hearts we say we thank you, Jesus. From the depth of our hearts we say we bless you, Jesus. Has there not been you on our side, O oh God? We know that the enemy would have swallowed us alive, but by your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace has sustained us until now. Today is another beautiful day that you've given unto us. Therefore, Lord, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And we pray that you lead us through the day, O oh God. Help us understand you. Help us to listen to you. Help us, O oh God, to be obedient children. So that we can also talk to people about you. Because if we do not listen to your voice, we have nothing to present. O oh, Spirit of God, please have your way today too. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I also pray thanking you for this weekend. I pray that you protect your children, O oh God, from any harm, O oh God, from any disease, O oh God, from, from any plans of the enemy. I pray that may your children, O oh God, enjoy this day. So that our families of God will glorify your name. We together with our families will glorify your name. I present today's message into your hands. Even as we journey through the Psalms, I pray that you have your way in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah and Amen. Brethren in the Lord, we bless God. He is good. Today, I welcome you to... Journeying through the Psalms, journeying through the Psalms, your weekend Bible inspiration. And we'll continue from the Psalm number 26, Psalm 26. It is also a Psalm of David, as we all know. By now we all know that, that, that David wrote almost half or even more than half of the Psalms. The others are written by other authors. And whenever we read the Psalms, we see the names of those who wrote the Psalm on the top of it or as a heading. There are some that do not have um, any heading, meaning they did not find the writers. So Psalm 26 from verse 1. Let's hear the word of God. Declare me innocent, O Lord, for I have acted with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and my heart. Brethren in the Lord, looking through one and two, David is drawing our attention to it that we need to allow the Lord to examine us through his word, through the preaching that comes through we ourselves searching the scriptures, through we praying, telling him to cross-examine us, because we want to remain faithful unto him till the end. And I believe if we learn what David is saying, it will really help us. As we meditate on the word of God, we ask God to cross-examine us, that he should test our motives and our hearts. Verse 3 says, For I am always aware of your unfailing love, and I have lived according to your truth. I do not spend time with liars or go along with hypocrites. I hate the gatherings of those who do evil, and I refuse to join in with the wicked. I wash my hands to declare my innocence. I come to your altar, O Lord singing a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your wonders. I love your sanctuary, Lord, the place where your glorious presence dwells. Ah, don't let me suffer the fate of sinners. Don't condemn me along with murderers. Their hands are dirty with evil schemes, and they constantly wreak bribes. But I am not like that. I live with integrity. So redeem me and show me mercy. Now I stand on solid ground and I will publicly praise the Lord. Brethren in the Lord, when we follow David, 
we see that David is someone who is so frank with the Lord, someone who has this relationship with God, this intimacy with him. And he knows that it is only God who can save him. It is only God who can deliver him. It is only God who can lead him so that he will not fall into sin. We see that David, whenever he sins or whenever he makes a mistake, he runs to the Lord because he's always in the presence of the Lord. And he knows that God is a holy God. So he does not want to offend him in any way. David allows the Holy Spirit to speak through him. And when the Holy Spirit convicts him, he does not reject it or he does not ref uh, refuse it. He always accepts his faults. And if someone can talk like David is talking right now, it means that person knows the God that he is serving. Do we also know the God we are serving? David is saying, declare me innocent, Lord. Can we also tell God to declare us innocent? If not, then all that we, we, we read about that David was saying that he does not work with evil people, with people who are liars, to, he does not work with hypocrites, all these things. Do we fall into it or not? We need to ask the Lord to help us to run away from such things. Things that will, will draw us into the world. Friends that will not give us good advice. It is better to leave them. Yes, we are thinking about they being offended. But we do not think about God being offended. We do not think about the one who gives us eternal life. We do not think about he who is holy and that he wants children who are also holy to walk in holiness and in righteousness. May the Lord help us to always be obedient children. May we be exemplary for others who do not know the Lord to know him. Because people know about Jesus and they talk well about Jesus. But when it comes to his followers, they do not see our lifestyles as Jesus. Jesus is. So today we pray that our Spirit of God help us, purify us, cleanse us. Let us know you better. Let us experience you in a special way. Because I know that if one knows you better, if one puts on Christ, everything about the person testifies that he is your child. Therefore, Lord Jesus, therefore, Lord Jesus, help us not to spend time with liars. Help us not to go along with hypocrites. Help us to hate the gatherings of those who do evil. And Father, Lord, help us to join the wicked. Help us to have innocent hands, hands that do not touch blood or touch anything evil. Father, we have come to your altar and we pray, O oh God, that help us, even as we sing on your altar and tell people about your wonders. Father, we thank you so much. We love to be in your sanctuary, O oh God. And Papa, we pray. That help us, oh God, not to suffer the fate of sinners. Help us to live in, in you with integrity. Help us, redeem us, show us your mercy. Father, thank you that you are the solid rock that on which we stand. Our faith is built on nothing else than your blood and righteousness. Oh, God, we thank you. We stand on the solid rock because all other grounds are sinking sand. Thank you for having us as, as your children and thanking you. thank you for you allowing us to have you as our Father. We bless you, Abba Father. We pray that you lead us through this weekend. We pray that you lead us through this week, weekend so the Lord will be a blessing 
to your great family and to people around us. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. Continue to listen to us. If you are now coming, God bless you. Amen.